Emily, give us a little tease for the 100th episode. It's supposed to be a love letter to the fans, to the show. It's something that has never happened before in our show, and there is, you know, if you love sci-fi, you love our show, but then you are gonna, you are gonna be ecstatic over the crossover. The 100th episode is a look back at season one and at um, some of the characters that we've known and loved. And it really is a love letter to the fans. And it's a love letter to the first season. I, I have to say, um, it's just an amazing, nostalgic episode that that's going to break some hearts in a really good way. Give us your little talking point for this, for this episode. We know the queens are back. You know, we know we have a, a variety of, of people from the beginning. Um, you know, the way I sort of think about it is it doesn't feel to me like the 100th episode of a television show. It feels like the 100th issue of a comic book. Um, we are, we're using very intentionally a device that I think is far more typical for milestone issues and anniversary issues of comics than it is for a milestone episode of a television show. So um, I always think of it kind of as it, it feels like a comic book to me um, because of not just the 100th episode device that we're using, but also the fact it's part of the crossover. It, it feels maybe more than any other it, uh, episode we've done to date, it feels like a, uh, an, a live action comic book. It's a very emotional episode. It's kind of a what if. There's a great what if comics. They sort of imagine someone's if someone's life had just gone a little bit differently. And uh, there's obviously some big dramatic things that have happened in Oliver's life that uh, we get to imagine what if they didn't happen. Now tell me a little bit about this episode being a love letter to the fans, to the show. I know we have the Queens back, yeah. Katie's back. Tell me what happened. Yeah, it's, um, you know, I think some people, uh, you know, I, I heard rumblings on the interweb that uh, people were concerned that the, the crossover aspect of the 100th episode was going to overshadow it, the celebratory aspect of it. But it's been, um, it really is truly a love letter with some returning fan favorites and nods to the past and some um, recurring villains and uh, I just think it's such an amazing episode it really does feel like the hundredth episode it really does feel like a, a culmination what can you tell us about the Queens being back uh, the parents um, I can tell you that we were really excited to have Jamie and Susanna back on the show and that it I think that bringing them back has really provided a sense of history and a sense of nostalgia that really make the 100th episode sing in a very special way. Now, you've told everybody, all the journalists that write about the show, that Steven gives his finest performance to date in this episode. Tell us a little bit more about that scene and, and did it bring you to tears when you reached for the cleanup? You know, I, I'll be honest, okay, I'll be totally, totally honest with you. I don't cry. Like, there's something wrong with me, I, maybe I have no soul. I When I watch an episode of something or a movie, I don't cry. My barometer is if I am choked up and I'm almost brought to tears, that's the equivalent for normal people, that's the equivalent of sobbing and I was really choked up. So um, I, I, I hope people are as emotionally affected by it as, as I am, but I mean, even seeing it, you know, I'm watching the dailies, I'm watching it dry without any music, and even without any music, even without, you know, any of the things that emotionally engage you in, in anything, um, this is a really, I think it's a really powerful moment. Mark Guggenheim told me that he doesn't get emotional, he doesn't cry, but he, he choked up during the scene you have in the, uh, in the 100th. Tell us about it. You know, I've, I haven't seen it. I've heard rumors about this scene. There's a, there's a, there's a few times where, where real life and, the show intermingle, and uh, one of them happens in one of them happens in the crossover. It was really it was something. 